Hey guys, this morning we're going to do our word study lesson, and this is going to be your introduction to compound words. So I'm going to start this lesson by showing you some things I found around my house. Okay, first thing I have is I have a toothbrush. Okay, next I have a fire truck. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Okay, on my keys I have this little thing called a keychain. I have an earring. I have a necklace. And I have a paper clip. Now, we're going to look at these words. I'm going to write them down. We're going to look at them and then see what we notice. Okay? So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down earring. Earring. I'm going to use switch. Okay, so I wrote the word earring, but if you see, I did it in two different colors because a compound word is a word that is made when you put two smaller words together. So if I have an earring, what is an earring? It's a ring for your ear. So it's made up of two different words. It's made up the word ear and the word ring, okay? This is a compound word. Let's try another one. Let's do keychain. Okay, so I have one big word. The word is keychain. But it's made up of two smaller words. It's made up of the word key and the word chain. Okay, so compound word is a big word made of two smaller words. Let's do one more. We're going to do paper clip. So I'm going to write paper clip. And again, now you can see that it's made up of the two smaller words, paper and clip, okay? So, 100 years ago or so, they used to write compound words a little bit differently. They used to write them, let me switch marker colors here. They used to write words like this. They would write the words and they would use a little dash in the middle, okay? That little dash was to show that it's two little words put together to make one big word. Here's another one. They would have wrote, written it like this. Pillbox, okay? Now, we don't use that dash. The dash is called a hyphen. We don't use that anymore, okay? We've just kind of taken that away and we just write those two little words as one big word. So that's how things have changed just a little bit, okay? So to review, compound words are when we have one big word, but it's made up of two smaller words, okay? So again, my examples were things like fire truck, necklace, paper clip, toothbrush, and so many other things, okay? So your follow-up for this is going to be located in your work folder. It will be called Word Study Compound Word Follow-Up, okay? So it's going to give you one big word, and then it has two boxes underneath, and you're going to write the two little words. So it was, will look something like this. If I have the word, again, we'll do earring. And then it's going to have two boxes. So it'll look like this. And then you need to write the two words that make up the bigger word in the boxes. So I'd write ear and ring. Okay? So that is in your work folder already, labeled as your follow-up. I'm super excited to see your guys' work, so make sure you get it done so I can check it. Thanks. See you later.